KPF is a global firm that focuses on architecture design. We are well known for designing tall buildings and experts in designing long span buildings such as airports, innovative master plans and smart cities all across the world. I develop architecture design studies that focuses on narrative and storytelling experiences, including illustration, animation, and virtual reality experiences. We are constantly presenting on a weekly basis to clients and on a daily basis to teams across the world. Revisions in the design constantly happen. It's important to have softwares and programs that have the flexibility and capacity to adapt to such a very challenging workflow. What makes Twinmotion great for us architects is the idea of having a very friendly interface. I think in a Twinmotion specifically, you have a very interesting way of applying vegetation and also tweaks of environments. Everything is animated, so that means you are always thinking of an experience rather than flat 2D image. We use Rhino as a design software. Twinmotion is able to directly link the model that you have and constantly synchronize as you're modeling and designing. It's really important with the way we work in KPF because we want this visual feedback to be immediate and having all these in one place helps designer to work efficiently. Having projects of this magnitude in KPF tall towers and complex master plan is really challenging to share information. And the fact that Presenter Cloud allow us to share this information via link will help us to share our work globally and reach to everyone without the need to have the twin motion downloaded on their computer or have a specific hardware to be able to access the model. You know, as designers, you are always looking for more. And sometimes if you have time, you're always trying to make a better and a more interesting experience. The Bridge to Unreal allows designers to expand on their horizon of what they can achieve and curate with a more sophisticated software like Unreal Engine. The sky is the limit to what we can achieve with Twin Motion in the future.